going on everybody welcome back to geek city so today we're going to be ranking every single mortal kombat one skin not including every palette because that's absurd all of these skins on this tier list right here now if i did forget any skins i think i got everything but just in case i did if you recognize any of that i did not mention please 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 put them in the comments down below so if i ever have to do part two whenever they add new skins i can do that and know the ones that i missed so Let's not waste any time. And again, we're not doing color palettes. And also, this is just the ones that have released so far. So, you know, yeah. Let's not waste any time and get straight into this. Do a tier list of your own. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description. I don't know if it'll work because I did the, like, one-time tier list thing. So, if it doesn't work, I'm sorry. I made this one on my own because this has not been a uh, released tier list. So, I had to make my own one. So, again, I've already said this, but if I did forget any... Um, I know that there are a ton of skins coming out. I've seen the updates that, you know, aren't coming out in the future, but I wanted to, have to do this now. So I didn't add those because they aren't out yet. I'm just counting the ones that have been released in the game. Again, we're not doing pallets. And again, yeah, I think I got everything. This might take a while because there's a lot. Um, I'm not doing any of the other games because, like, MK11, there's so many different ones. Luckily, MK, MK1 has doesn't have a crazy amount so far, so we're actually able to make this possible. If you enjoy this content, I'll do more tier rankings. Uh, you know, give it a like in the comments. Let me know what tier ranking videos you'd want to do and how you would rank uh, these. Or, or if you want, just some of your favorite and least favorites. You don't have to do them all because there's a, a pretty decent amount here. So uh, I have them organized by character. As the first, we have Liu Kang. He only has three skins so far. Um, and so let's just start. We got the new era one. This is just the base roster one. And I think it, it, it's pretty good. Um, luckily so far, I don't think there have been any skins that are just the base ones that aren't bad. And I think this one's pretty decent. I'm going to put it in B tier. It's nothing crazy, but I think it, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, and then we have the, um, I think this is Union of Light one. And I'm also going to put it in B tier. You know, it's, it's nothing crazy, but I mean, I don't mind it. I think it's pretty, it's pretty decent. Uh, I don't really use it that much. Um, but it's all right. Uh, we have, this is the, the Watchful Patron one, I think it's called. It's in the campaign, it's the one where he has the hood. I like this one a lot. I like the, the skins that are in the, in the, the campaign. And we see them, you know, coming into the actual game. I really like it, so I'm gonna put it in A tier. Uh, then we have the New Era, yeah, I'm going through these quickly, because there's, there's a lot. Alright, so then we have New Era Sub-Zero, the base roster, uh, base skin. Um, and I really like the Lin Kuei skins for, uh, Sub-Zero... Scorpion and Smoke. I like them all. Uh, I'm going to actually put an A tier. I really like the design. And then Union of Light. I like the colors on this specific one, but all the other palettes I don't I don't like very much. I like the dark blue. Um, but it's... it's. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be talking about the palettes and if they... Yeah, I'll, we'll put a top of B. Um, but it's not... Um, yeah. Okay. Then we have the Order of Darkness one. This is the Season 3 skin. We're going to put this in S tier. I love the skin. Was the grind worth it? No. Um, no. Absolutely not. Uh, season 3 was the, my least favorite season. I think the skins were cool, but it was much longer than the others. And so we just got very repetitive. And his boss fight was a pain. But this skin is one of the best skins in the game. I love it. I really think it's I think it's uh, top tier. One of the best skins we've gotten so far. Um, I love it. I really do. I think it's really sick. Now, the mask, his his mask, I don't like very much, but that's customizable. So, it, I just, I don't use it. And then we have the, uh, I don't remember what it's called. I know this was, like, this dropped when the game first launched, and I don't, I don't own it. I don't know. It doesn't appeal to me very much. I don't think it's terrible, but I think it looks kind of goofy. So, we're going to put it in C tier. Um, and then we have Deadly Alliance Sub-Zero. This skin, I used to think was S tier. But I think now that I'm realizing, it, this is one of those skins that doesn't translate well to actual, like, I feel like in the game, in the original, he, like, he's much bigger in Deadly Alliance, and in this, he actually, you know, they translated it to a actual, modern, realistic transportation, so I don't think it really works as well. Um, but they have updated the suit, uh, giving him, like, glowy eyes and all that, so I'm still gonna put an A tier. I like the skin. I use it a lot, um, but I do think it... it I've thought about it more. I'm like, okay, this doesn't really work. I don't think it translated very well. But I do like these 3D era skins where they, or honestly, even the classic ones where they bring in past skins. I really like them, and I usually buy them unless they're really bad. Like the Natara of the Alliance, we'll talk about in a little bit. And then we have MK3 Sub Zero, which I think is a kind of like the Deadly Alliance one, but even worse. With I don't think this suit translates very well to a modern or a modern realistic game in the sense of. 
I don't know. It, it doesn't work. I think it looks kind of goofy. Like the, the pants, and it looks like he's wearing yoga pants. Uh, almost. We're going to put it bottom B. And it's weird seeing Bihan with the scar, because this is not Bihan, this Kwai Lang, but since Kwai Lang is Scorpion in this game, Bihan subs here, so it's a little weird seeing him like, uh, it's a little weird seeing Bihan, uh, with the Kwai Lang suit, but that's fine. I, I, I just don't think it translates very well, and I think it's worse than the Deadly Lions one in that scene, in that, I'm, I'm glad they, they, uh, they brought it in, because it's cool to see all the MK3 ninja suits. Alright, now we're talking about Scorpion here, he has one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. That's pretty decent. Again, I, I I think I got it all, but just in case, I know I've said this multiple times, but if I've forgotten any, let me know in the comments. All right, so we have the base one. I'm going to put this with the Scorpion, or with the Sub-Zero one. I think, again, the Lin Kuei suits look really nice. I, I think they're pretty fresh looking. And so, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, the Union of Light one, I don't like the, like, set. I feel like a lot of the Union of Lights ones aren't very good. Some are good, but some, like, look weird. And I don't, I don't like the, like, the, the thing, the poncho. It kind of looks like a poncho. I don't like it. We're going to put it in, I don't know, maybe not, we we'll put it in B, bottom B. Um, and then we have the Order of Darkness Scorpion. This is going in S tier. I love the skin so much. So far, all of the Order of Darkness skins, all four, well, no, there's more, um, we'll, we'll talk about them, but out of all of the four ones that we've actually had to, you know, in the Invasions mode, I think they're all great, I like this one a lot, Sub-Zero and Scorpion both look clean, I, I don't know which one I like more, though, so we'll put them like this, uh, but they're both really cool suits, and then we have Deadly Alliance one, this one I do think, I like the armor a lot, uh, I really do, I think this one translated a little better, the Flaming Skull is not customizable, which is kind of funny, but I think I, I wear the the Invasions one more, but I like them both. We're going to both put them next year. This is just my opinion again, so, you know, if you disagree with me, that's perfectly okay. We all have our different opinions. Um, And then we have the, uh, I, I forgot what it's called. Um, I forgot what it's called, Lord. But um, same with the Sub-Zero one. I just don't like it. I think it looks kind of goofy in my personal opinion, so we're going to put them next to each other. I think the Sub-Zero one's a little better. Uh, and then we have MK3 uh, Scorpion. I love this skin. You can also put an S here. I know a lot of people think that the kitten whisker ears look weird. I don't mind them. I actually, I like the classic skins when they're brought into. And we haven't really seen MK3 ones in a while. We saw them in MK9 and I think MKX. But um, it's cool to see them in, you know, beautiful graphics. And I really, really like it. I think it looks really cool. All of the ninja skins, all of those MK3 ones, I assure will be high up. Other than the Sub-Zero one, but that's because, you know, it's a little different. I also want to mention, if you want to see me do a cameo ranking where I rank all the skins, there's not a lot of them, but I, I could do it. Just If this video hits five likes, <laughs> we'll, we'll do it. Five likes. Yeah. All right. Then we got Katana. She has four skins. Um, Four skins here. Let me... I forgot to do this here. Put this here. All right. Uh, so this is Katana Base. I like the design. I think it's pretty cool. We're going to put it... Top of I like the blue a lot, so we're actually gonna put it top of blue, top of B, um here. I think it's pretty good actually. Um, Union of Light. I don't like this one very much. Uh, we're gonna put it bottom C. I don't like it very much. Again, a lot of the Union of Light ones, I don't like very much. I don't know why. Um, but I don't. Uh, then we have I I don't remember this one either. Uh, but I I don't mind it. I think it's pretty decent. We'll put it mid, uh, mid B. Right here, top it. Uh, then we have the the Mrs. Claus one. A lot of these Christmas ones were palettes, but I think there were a few that were actual skins. I think Reptiles was a palette where he's the elf, but I don't remember, so I didn't add it. But just in case it wasn't a palette, let me know in the comments. I'll check later. Uh, then we had the Mrs. Claus one, which this was a, its own skin, um, if my memory is serving me correct. Uh, so yeah, and I, I think it's pretty cool, it's fun, I'm not gonna wear this if it's like, you know, I, I put it on during Christmas, uh, time, obviously, but, you know, it's fun, it's a, it's a goofy little skin, and, you know, it's a lot of fun. The Union of Light one, I was really good skin, so let's talk about all these here, we got the base one here, it's so drippy, I mean, it's obviously, like, it's not anything special, you know, he's not wearing any armor or anything, I still think they need to add his one that he wears at the end, the, like, battle suit, because they added Kung Lao's and Kinchi's. Because those are his ba those are both the base suits, and then um, his is not in the game yet, which I, I really want them to add him with his katana and everything. 
yeah, he has a good time in this game. Really cool. Um, then we have the Union of Light one. I will say this Union of Light one's going in S tier. I don't know what he's wearing. It looks like yoga clothes, but I really like it. I really like the design here, actually. Yeah. And also, also, also uh, Johnny Cage's, when you uh, finish his character mastery and you get on 35 levels, um, his gold looks really good. The gold on the Union of Light and the base skin look really good on both. I think we have Order of Darkness. It's a shame we're not going to get a Johnny Cage season because his skin was the tutorial. Now, I do think that this, like, dark green is okay, but the blue looks really good. So, we're going to put, put it top of A. It's really cool, you know. I think it's a pretty good... I think it fits the theme of Johnny Cage, you know. His evil version would wear, like, a robe or something like that. So, I think it works. And then we have Indiana Jones Johnny Cage. Again, most of... All of the Johnny Cage ones are probably just going to be in... Uh, a tier um, other than the base one, just because I love Johnny Gage and I'm really biased. Actually, now that I think about it, we're gonna, I really like that skin. Um, I know it's not called Indiana Jones, but it's Indiana Jones, and that's fun. Taking Indiana Jones, one of the most iconic film characters, and combining him with one of the most iconic video games. I don't know about that. Maybe. Um, but my favorite Mortal Kombat character with Indiana Jones, perfect. Um, so yeah, we're going to put him bottom A. And then we have the Jean-Claude Van Damme skin. We're just going to put that with... Yeah. Um, I think it's, you know, design-wise, is not as cool as the Scorpion and Sub-Zero, all those ones. But the fact that we, whoever decide, decided, got the idea that, you know, to add the skin, give them a raise. I don't know who it was. Maybe it was just Ed Boon, but, you know, in case you don't know, some context. Originally, this was going to be... Mortal Kombat was going to be Jean-Claude Van Damme skin, but then it didn't work, and so they added Johnny Cage and just gave... Him, the Jean Claude Van Damme model. So Johnny Cage is based on Jean Claude Van Damme. We'll just, you know, call him Jean. This, you know, it's hard saying the name multiple times, but you get it. So Johnny Cage was based on Jean, and so they added the skin, uh, which is the first time we've ever seen the MK1 skin in a, a game before. When I mean MK1, the first one, um, it's the first time we've ever seen it in any game, which is surprising because I think every other character that was in the first game has gotten that skin at some point, but he hasn't. Um, and so they finally did, it, and they actually got. Jean to play him, and they changed his face model. Would I like to see just a normal one where it's still Johnny Cage but with the suit? Yeah. I don't think they'll do that now since they added Jean, but I think it's really cool. It's... This is beautiful. I'm so glad we had this. Never thought we'd actually have it. We do. So, yeah. I, I didn't buy it when it first came out, because uh, I didn't buy the deluxe version or whatever. Um, but I did uh, about a month or so ago, and I'm so happy I did. Then we have Kenshi. He only has three skins. Some characters... I know one character in here only has two skins. We'll talk about him in a little bit. Kenshi. The base one is one of the best base skins. I think it's a really cool design here. Now that I think about it, we're actually going to move... Uh, um, we're going to move Deadly Alliance Scorpion just a little bit. Okay. Uh, I really like the Kenshi design. I think it's a great way to modernize his suit. I really like it. Union of Light one, though, I don't like. It looks like he's wearing a VR set. I don't know why, but that to me, it looks like he's wearing a VR set. So we're going to put that in C as well. Again, like I already mentioned, Union of Light, most of them are not very good, in my opinion. And then you have the Yakuza. I think it's a Yakuza skin. And this is a... I love this skin so much. We're going to put it... Drip. Um, I, I, I do think... I wish we got to have it with him without the... Like, the blindfold, like he has in the actual wouldn't be seeing where in the campaign he doesn't have it yet he's not blinded yet but i mean i think it would kind of not make sense gameplay wise um but you know it's fine uh, it's a great skin then we have base kung lao i also really like this one i think it's a great way if you're gonna do kung lao i think this is kind of the you know they all of kung lao's base skins in a way kind of look the same um i really like it we're gonna put it, we're gonna put it right, right around here yeah um yeah the union of light one's all right i don't like the like the this it almost kind of looks like a skirt really i don't know again you know light they're okay i will put this in one in bottom b as well um it's it's okay and then we have the hero's journey one which they finally added i've been i've been so excited for them to finally add the hero's journey skins of raiden and kung lao i knew since i played the campaign i was like i really hope they add these because these are really cool i like casual costumes in these games i don't know why so we're gonna put this yeah i love the skin uh a lot like, really, really like its skin. Um, so, yeah, we're going to put it right there. I think that's an appropriate place. Um, all right, now we got Melina. Um, I actually forgot to add the... Um, 
Halloween one until later on. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of, I almost filmed this video without adding that, but I went ahead and quickly added it. As we have Base Melina, it's okay. It's all right. I think that, um, I don't know, I don't like, the, I don't like her hair in this one, so we'll put it bottom B. It's all right. It's not terrible. Union of Light one is too much for me. I think Melina so far, her skins are hit or miss. Uh, this one, this next one, is also okay. We'll put it, it's, it's decent enough. It's not terrible. None of them are terrible, but I right, think we have the Halloween one. I just like, I, I really like it, you know, with that uh, Silence of the Lamb type, uh, type of feel. But I didn't buy it um, because I was saving up my Dragon Crystals for another skin at the time, which is a little unfortunate uh, with the timing, but this was back when it was really hard to get Dragon Crystals. I think since then, prices have gone down a little bit, but still, this was back when it was like, each skin was like 10, uh, 10 bucks, so, you know, I was really careful on what I bought with um, my Dragon Crystal. So, this skin, I unfortunately didn't get. Hopefully, it'll come back to the shop soon. And maybe they'll lower the price to like 500 uh, Dragon Crystals, um, and then maybe I'll cop it. But I, I really like the skin. I think it's really cool. Titan Melina from Season 4. I think it's really cool. We're also going to put this. We're going to put an uh, S tier. Um, hmm. I think it's... Uh, yeah, right here. I, I really like the skin. It's different, for sure. And then we have Raiden. I can't wait for them to add his Dark Raiden skin from MK11. They have to, right? I think, because next season is going to be Raiden, so hopefully that is going to be uh, what they add. All right, so base Raiden, I don't mind. I think it's pretty decent. We'll put it, um, it, it again, a lot of the base ones are, aren't, you know, they're pretty simple. They get the job done. Uh, Union of Light one, I don't like what he's wearing. I really don't like this one. It's too much. Like, he's, like, wearing... I don't know. I, again, I've made it very clear about my thoughts on the Union of Light ones. And then we have Hero's Journey. Love the Hero's Journey skins. I've already made that clear as well. I don't think this one's as good as the Kung Lao one, but I still really like it. So we'll put it, yeah, A tier. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I need to bump Deadly Alliance back. I'm looking at it, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't think they... I think they did the best job they could. Again, it's modern, so it's kind of hard to take that and make it realistic. So now that I'm thinking about it, we're going to move Deadly Alliance back a little bit. I still like the skin. I play it, but I think... uh. Yeah. Sub-Zero's best skin is easily Order of Darkness. Then we have Rain. He only has two skins. Well, he has the Titan one uh, that, like, you could only get through. It's not out yet, but some of the palettes are. I think I forgot to add it. I don't know if it's out yet. I think I saw some one of the Ice ones, but I don't I don't think you ever got it. I don't remember. Maybe you did, but I don't play um, online because I, I play on PlayStation, and so you have to have PlayStation Plus just to be able to play online, which I that's one of the issues with PlayStation. Uh, but, I, so I don't have access to those, so I don't, I think I forgot them. Maybe you, maybe they haven't come out, I don't know. But, I think that's one of the ones I forgot. So we have Base Raiden. It's, it's decent. I really wish he was more of a ninja. Um, then he, he's like a wizard, or like a sorcerer in this timeline. Which I don't mind, I think it's decent, but like, I think it's a cool idea. Uh, I really wish he got an MK3 skin as well. But he's not, cons he's not classified as a ninja. In this timeline, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, then we have the um, this is Union of Light. I actually, this is one of the rare times where I like it more than the base. I think it's actually pretty cool. I've been trying to get the base purple one, and I, I, I haven't been able to yet. But I really like it. I think it's actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, I will put it. We'll put it right here. It's not bad. Okay, base smoke again. Like all these Lin Kuei skins a lot, so we're gonna put it right here. I love smoke, and so I'm glad they've been you know treating him right this game. They've done, Netherrealm so far has done him so dirty, he was an MK9, really cool, had that sexy long hair, and then he was kind of a DLC in MKX, he's one of the Triborgs, and then, you know, in MK11, Cyrax and Sector are there, but not Smoke. Alright, and then we have, I think this is Union, uh, yeah, this Union of Light, this one's not bad, I'll, I actually like the hood, um, the hooded one, so we're gonna put it right here. I actually, I'm gonna get this one. I don't own the, the hooded one yet. I own, like, some of the palettes, but not the gray one, which is the one I really want to play as. MK3, MK3, I love the MK3 skins. We're gonna put them all next to each other. I really like them. Again, I know a lot of people don't like the kitten whisker ears, but I really, really like them. I think they actually translate quite well. Here's the Order of Darkness one. Again, we ha we don't have the, the gray one yet. I'm sure that'll be unlocked through one of the invasions, but we do have the, the Sub-Zero Season 3 one, uh, so without, you know, that, that's kind of, that's unfair because the actual base palette hasn't been out yet. It has, it's not out and I, that's easily the best part, but I mean, with ice, it doesn't look terrible, but you know, it's not the same. So we're going to put it in C tier, but 
don't, you know, take that lightly. It's not really... I like the skin a lot. I just don't think it works with ice. But that's the only one we've gotten so far is the ice one. So that's all I can rank it off of. Um, Alright, so then we have uh, Lee May. So her base one, not, again, not terrible. Just kind of run of the mill. Okay. And then we have Order of Darkness. Or no, no, excuse me, Union of Light. It's okay. Uh, not, I always get these two confused. I don't know. I don't think they're not that different. And then we have the, this is, uh, Deception. They haven't added Deadly Lens. They added Deception. I love the skin. I do think that if they, I know, don't, this doesn't make me sound like a horny person or whatever, but I do think it looks weird without the, like, with the pants. Like, I don't know why it just looks odd. That's not what I'm used to. Uh, but it's, I'm not one of those people that's like, you added pants. I hate the skin. I still really like the design. I'm not fourth snake, so I'm not gonna, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that they're adding a Titan Lee May skin soon. Um, I know that in the teaser that was shown. I don't know when that's dropping. At the point I'm filming this video, that's not out yet. All right, then we have Baraka. Um, the base one I actually really like. I think we'll put it um, bottom A. I really like the design. Union of Light, I don't like the, the thing he's wearing. Um, a lot of these Union of Light skins I do not like. Um, I've already made that clear. Uh, Titan Baraka, I like. It's very much embracing... Tarkatan, you know, the Tarkatan style, so we're gonna put it, uh, I think, I don't, I don't use it a lot, but I mean, that's, that's, that's the one I use the most, but in a way, like, I don't know, it, I still really like the skin, I just don't play as Baraka a lot, so, oh uh, yeah, we'll put it, we'll put it towards the top of A, um, I think I need to do some rearranging here, now that I think about it, um, yeah, okay, okay, all right, uh, Tanya, Tanya, all of her skins are awful. I hate this skin. I hate her base one is awful. I get it, you know, it kind of matches with the other Dindian ladies, but I don't know why. I just hate Tanya looks so much better in MK4 and MKX. Her design here as um I, I do not like it. In this game, they did her so dirty. Her Union of Light one's okay. It's still in C tier, it's not great. And then this skin, I don't know what their D tier. She hasn't had any new skins in a while, because all of those were dropped early on. She hasn't had anything in a long time. Um, kind of like Reiko. We'll talk about him too in a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's our first D tier. It's horrendous. I don't know what Netherrealm was doing there. Maybe they'll add like a, a classic MK4 or MKX in, which, but I don't know how it would work because her gameplay. I don't know how they would do that. Uh, then we have Garrus. All right, his base one I like a lot. It's kind of the same as MK11. His didn't change very much. I feel like, uh, but it's so you know it's pretty decent. The uh, Union of Light one, I actually don't mind. I think it's pretty... It's, it's alright. Not bad. Um, around the same area is the base one. And then we have Order of Darkness, which I really like. I like the colors on this one a lot. I remember when I didn't know that this skin was out yet, and I was in the shrine when it first came out. Again, not knowing it was out yet. I um, spent a thousand coins. Like, I was like, wait, whoa, what's this? So I looked it up and I was like, okay, I didn't know they dropped the Order of Darkness one yet. And they did, and I think it's really cool. Has every character gotten their order? No, not everyone. Okay, cool. Never mind. I was about to ask if everybody has gotten their Order of Darkness skin yet, but I realized that's not true. Uh, not not everybody's gotten theirs yet. That's good. Did I add Katana's Union? Oh, Order of Darkness? Is, is that out yet? I'm not quite sure. Okay. Um. Again, you know, I don't know. The timing, you know, they've announced some, but I'm not quite sure if they're actually in-game, so I didn't know if to add them or not. Base Reptile, I love, this is one of the best base skins from any of the games ever. I love it so much. I think it's really cool. They nailed it. Oh, they really, really nailed it. Um, the Union of Light one, I don't mind either. I think it's pretty cool. It's kind of like a Power Ranger style. I really like it. I really do. Um, so, yeah, A tier um, on that one. It's, again, most of the Union of Light ones I don't like. So, that's, you know, A tiers. Have I got, are any of the Union of Light ones in A tier? Okay. Uh, or S tier, I mean. Uh, okay, so other than... Um, Johnny Cage, there are no Union of Light ones to be in S tier yet. That shows. Okay, MK3 Reptile, I, again, love all these skins. I actually think the best one is Smokes. Um, that's one. I, I, I don't own the other ones yet. Um, I'm probably going to get Reptiles because I don't own a lot of Reptile or Smoke skins, but Scorpion, I'm probably going to pass on. Um, we'll see. I know that uh, I think Reptile's out yet. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but I bought Smoke when it first came out. I loved it. Um, all right, so we have this. The Titan, or Order of Darkness Reptile, this is another one of the ones where his actual base skin has not dropped yet, which that's the one I really like. So all we have at the moment is the Season 4 green one. And it does kind of work, although the Season 4 palettes are terrible, it works for Reptile, because he's a reptilian, and so the green works. But again, we still don't have the actual one yet, so I can only rank him so high. 
he's not complete yet. I think it's bad that they are releasing the Order of Darkness skins before the, they're actually released. Like, they release certain palettes, but not all of them. Like, with the smoke one. Um, I don't think it works. Uh, so, I, I like the skin. I hope we see I'm, I'm excited when we actually get to have the real, you know, colors. Havoc base one. It's okay. Put them on the Lee May. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty decent. Um, Order of... Or Union of Light... Eh, you know, it's, it's okay. Again, a lot of the Union of Light ones, I made very... <laughs> I keep repeating myself, but, you know, we have a lot of Union of Light ones, so gotta say it. All right, then we have... This is the one from The the Mummy, like, uh, in the Indiana Jones... Uh, I, I, I um, got the skin in the shrine. I really like it. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, I don't know, S-tier. Yeah, S-tier, I'd say. Pot on S-tier. I really like it. Like, The Mummy... And then we have the Order of Darkness one, which isn't out yet. I'm surprised they didn't do the Order of Darkness design that was in the uh, post credit scene. I think they might be saving that for Aftermath. If that's true, then there you go. Uh, but the Order of Darkness one, I like the, the meat, like like you, his guts, like, sticking out. Like how, um, I don't know, you know, I, I really like it. I don't know how to describe it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, we're going to put it S tier as well. I really like it. Uh, Havoc, yeah. He's, his last two skins have been really good. All right, then we have Ashra. She has three. Um, we have her base one's pretty decent. It's weird seeing Astro without a hat, though. She always has her hat, and so that, that her, if she had a hat, it, I don't see an issue why it's not, you know, it's here. It's good skin. The hat, just, I'm not used to her without the hat. <laughs> Alright, then we have, this is, uh, Union of Light. I actually like it. it. It very much reminds me of the, uh, 3D era, so we're gonna put it A tier. Alright, I'm running out of battery on my computer, so we're gonna have to make this quick. <laughs> Alright, Astra, Order of Darkness. The Titan battle was very tricky. I don't know why I struggled on this one, but um, it was a it's a cool skin. It's it's yeah, A tier as well. No, I don't like the hat as much on this one. I don't like the like cut off. In, uh, so we're gonna put it yeah B tier, top of B tier. Sindel, um, uh, her base one is it's it's I like it. It's all right. Again, most base ones they get the job done. They're supposed to be kind of simplistic here. Uh, Union of Light, I don't like it. I'm gonna put in the bottom C here. Don't like it. Uh, Order of Darkness? Yeah. I don't think there's any really bad Order of Darkness skins. Some of them we, like, I know the, the reason Smoke one's here is just because it's not complete yet. We haven't actually really, we only have the Snowy one. Uh, and if, whenever that, you know, actual one comes out, I'm sure it'll be A tier, or S tier. Uh, this Order of Darkness one's pretty cool. I'll put in bottom A. Um... General Shao, like I almost said Shao Kahn. It's General Shao. I actually really like the base skin a lot. We're going to put it S tier here. I really like his design. I think the gray uh, in the season two with the blood magic, I really like the, the gray and red on him. I think it works really well. Union of Light one, I don't like this one. I don't know why the Union of Light ones are so bad, but they're all wearing like, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Uh, Order of Darkness one, this is a really cool skin. Oh, we're going to put it, yeah. Towards the top of A here. I really like the skin a lot. Um, I think it's really cool. Especially the silver. Like the I really like the silver on it. Krampus. Uh it's fun. Again, it's like the the Miss Claus one. I'm not gonna use this other than on the, at the holidays. So we'll put it we'll put it next to Miss Claus. I think those are the only two that are actually skins. I think the rest of them are palettes. Um maybe the elf, elf reptile one, but I don't I think that was a palette. Natara. Alright, base one here, I actually I think it's pretty good. I think the base one's uh pretty decent. Union of Light one also, surprisingly, Union of Light one's pretty good as well. I think the although I don't play Natara a lot, she's had some decent skins. The Order of Darkness one, I really like the Order of Darkness one as well. We're gonna put that towards the yeah, bottom. Yeah, bottom. Yeah, bottom S here. I like the hair and the spikes. And then we have the Deadly Alliance one. We're gonna put it bottom D tier. I think Tanya's is more bad looking, but they butchered the skin. All the Deadly Lance ones, all the, the, when they, you know, remade the classic suit so far, they've all been pretty decent. I think the weakest one has been, uh, was MK3 Sub-Zero, if I'm looking at this right. Um, and then they, they, they butchered it. Um, it doesn't look anything like, it looks like a, like a mod. It looks like a mod. I think I've seen mods that are better looking than this, uh, skin. It's really disappointing. Alright, Shang Tsung, um, his base one, uh, I actually don't like very much. We'll put it top, so he's okay. Uh, Union of Light one, he has not had any good skins. 
we'll put this onesie. Okay, so the Order of Darkness one is another example where his actual the one he wears in Aftermath, that one, whenever they add it, um, whenever they add that color scheme, that's that'll be an A tier. But at the moment we don't have that, so we're gonna put it B. It's unfair to I know it's kinda unfair to those skins that haven't actually had their seasons yet or their colors. But until then, hey, what can you do? Uh, Reiko, I like his base skin a lot. I think it's really cool. We're going to put an S tier as well. He's only had two skins. That sucks. Um, his Union of Light one's okay. It's, it's it, you know, it's not terrible. We'll put a B tier. Um, and then Omni-Man's only had one skin, but we're going to put an S tier. I, I, you know, I'm going to include the DLCs, because why not? It's my list. We're going to put it, um, actually, we're going to put this towards the top. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, I think they did it. They nailed it. I really wish he got more skins, though, because there's so many classic um, things in the comics where he wears different suits. Uh, there's so many in the comics that he wears, so many different ones, and they could have added that. Those uh, There's a ton that um, and they decided not to add them for some reason. But, you know, we got a bunch of different palettes for this one that weren't very good. Um, so that was odd. I don't know why we, got, we had to get so many palettes when we could have just had different skins. Mini ran over. Quan Chi... He's, they've added pals for him, even though he's DLC. All the DLCs have just had six pals, but they've actually added some for him this season. I actually like his design a lot. I'm, I'm sure they'll add his Order of Darkness one, since he's actually um, an actual MK character. I'm sure they'll add that soon. And then Peacemaker, uh, they just kind of translated his from the, the movies and the shows. But I mean, it's really cool. Uh, his palette, all of his cosmetics sucked. All of his gear was really bad. I don't understand why they didn't take this stuff from the TV show. But that is everything. That's all of it. Uh, we did all the skins again. If I've got any, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, rank how you would rank them. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider liking the video, subscribing, uh, commenting how you would do this, turn on notifications. I'll probably do more of these tier ranking videos. Just let me know in the comments what tier ranking videos you want to see. Uh, thank you all for the recent support. Uh, things have been going very well on the channel. And stay geeky.